I just got home now and I'm getting home. These people gave me tons of work already. Hi, brother. Hello, brother. My sister should do plantain and I should fry egg. Yes, And you put still eat yam and you still eat rice. What are you eating? What are you eating? Which one do you want? Yam or rice? Because the fast is making me put the curry. Like, but this fast day, Nisha got back from work today. I said, Oh, and it's my windy. She be before I said, I'm not eating the same. I'm going to swallow. I plan that if I see Samo this yeah. night, I'm I'm telling you, how good you are, you go. I'm going to eat it. Eh? Yeah, why you be cooking by now? No, the jam will be dry. That must be super joy, so well. eating and food was good honestly food was nice but these people in my house they really don't know how to take care of somebody how can i be coming back by this time to just send me straight to the kitchen you see so there's a comment i saw online and i just thought to come here and address it it's none of my business but it's still my business because hmm, 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 hmm. you cannot just sell something about somebody i like and i just let it go scotch me like that no i'm coming for your head no seriously so there's this lady there's this woman i love so much on youtube one of the people i love to watch on youtube which is abby and family if you don't know abby and family she's a nigerian blogger based in canada <coughs> based in canada and she's a mother of five two biological children and three um stepchildren and two of her stepchildren are staying with her so and i stay following abby i think when when her husband and the other two stepchildren came to nigeria came to canada newly that was when i started following abby and you know since then i've just loved that person and everything so recently they moved to their own house and she said um one of her stepchildren which is usual the older one would not be moving with them because she has work to do and school every other thing if you follow their channel very well you'd know yeah the essence of this rant is that recently, Yuzra, one of the daughters, if you know Yuzra, one of the daughters posted a video on her um, YouTube channel because she's also a YouTuber and the name of her YouTube channel is Miss Yuzra, okay? So she posted something on her um, YouTube channel and the topic was, um, let me check, um, this was a very hard thought process and decision for me. That was the topic, like that was the title of the video and then i was like just because i was a little bit worried about her i've not been seen her on the family channel i've not been seen her on a personal channel so when i said i was like oh okay let me just check maybe it's like a live update let me see what's up so in that video she was just like she said a lot of things and one of the things i could pick pick from the video was that she said um she's been thinking of what to do with her youtube channel that um, she wants to stop posting on the youtube channel and that the video we are watching will be the last video that we are going to see or second to the last because she wants to do a final q and a and then close that channel she's not going to be uploading on the channel anymore i think she said she have another channel 
that she's going to be posting some other things on like that after that video you know when you do a video halfway and then you now continue so she continued the video another time and she was like yeah that when she watched that video she was like why did she even make this video what's up what's going on why did she make the video and then she changed her mind that she's not going to because she mentioned previously that she was going to sell that she was thinking maybe she should sell the channel or something but that then she was thinking that Haba, she's not going to sell her tribe she's not going to sell her youtube channel that she's going to be putting something out for us once in a while which we actually appreciate it's better than not seeing you at all right yeah then in the comment section people were like oh it's cool that you took this decision not to sell your youtube channel see i apologize for the noise Which kind of motto be this one? I beg. Okay, so I apologize for the noise though. Um, so I was going through the comment section because some of us we watch YouTube videos and then excuse me, we check the comment section and then somebody left a comment for him. People were even telling her that it's good. This is the decision she took is good that she should take her time. She's in her prime, she's trying to grow, she's trying to see life, she's trying to settle, and then somebody left a comment comments is like let me read it for you guys to understand what i'm saying the person said <clears throat> your stepmother which is abby your stepmother appears to be such a perfect stepmom and wife on youtube but i think she's a slave driver and she overworked you i'm sure she didn't want you to move to the new house abby must be jealous of your relationship with your father like i used to say something i used to say something about these youtubers and that's why it's always very funny to me we have 24 hours in a day and a youtuber decided to show you 10 20 minutes out of 24 hours and you just think you just think you know the person you you, you think you already know the person from a to z you become the judge the client you become the judge the plaintiff the defendant police on top of another person's case i mean it is the audacity for me like it is the audacity how can you just say you think she's jealous of her relationship with her dad what do you know about the relationship you usually has with her dad they show us what they want us to see what do you guys think they show us what they want us to see so which one is she's jealous of the relationship with her, between she and her dad like it doesn't just make any sense somebody Somebody brought these people to Canada. This ad brought these people to Canada. Even if Abby is not there, they would have gotten to Canada one way or the other. But at least Abby is there. Ab, they came through her. And they are okay. They are doing fine. The, the last the video um usually even posted one time like that. She was even appreciating people for patronizing her mom's her mom's brand. She was appreciating people for patronizing her mom's brand during um, Ramadan period when they are fasting. You would see her very well. I just think Yusha has been overwhelmed with school and with work. And for somebody her age that is just trying to gain balance in life, she's trying to, you know, test the waters, try different things, new things, which one work for me best, which is actually okay. So you can't expect somebody at that age to figure everything out at once. Even there was a time you dropped caught her and I was like, is this girl really okay? What's going on? And then she make a video to like clarify everything. She's just trying to find a balance in life. Let these people live their life. How can you just open your mouth and say somebody is wicked? A fellow human that she's a slave driver. She overworked. Do you even see her overwork anybody when they were doing that? They are packing their relocation vlog. To me, I feel like she even overstressed herself more. She and the husband, they overstressed herself more. And that is why immediately they moved to the house. She was like, uh, we're going to be doing daily vlogs now. <laughs> stress. Stress that is in her body looking at her like. Nye, 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 nye. Because she felt ill. It is now she's just like coming back on YouTube, coming back to post like regularly because she felt very ill. It's not so easy. The person went ahead to say, um, I'm sure she didn't want you to move to the new house. I'm sure she didn't want you to move to the new house. Sure, it doesn't even make any sense. The way you're reading it. Usually has a room. 
in that house. She has her own washroom in that house. Which Abby showed everything. She was even showing the children. She said, this is, is Abby's room. And on Christmas, Abby was expecting Joshua to come. Then, so, then later she said, oh, Joshua couldn't make it because of work. It was overwhelming. And Joshua also mentioned it in her video. She said she wanted to post a video during Christmas. But she couldn't because of work. That everybody wants like a million or whatever it is they had before. Because I think she works in like... A company that delivers stuff and abby made it clear in a video that um usual work because of usual work she got a better job in a better city and they are going to pay her well please if she's if she's at home with um with the family and she's not making money she's not just going to be a liability even you if you are your parents house and you're not doing anything you're just eating sleeping waking up are you not going to be a liability oh my I usually don't do videos like this, but I was really upset. I was so pissed. I was like, "Haba, check and wear. If it be, if it be woman, write that thing. Check and wear. You people just, you some people just carry hatred and bitterness in their mind. Why, why are people this bitter? Why are people this wicked? You are the wicked person. The person that wrote that thing is actually the wicked one." Because these people are just trying to live their life normally. The fact that they put it out there for us to see does not mean you can just make a decision. And I repeat, I say it again, out of 24 hours, out of 24 hours, they show us just 20, 30 minutes of their day. Join, 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 20, 30 minutes and you just think you are the alpha and omega of somebody's life just because they put it out there for you to see. Think you, can, you have an opinion. You have an opinion over some people's life. These people are living okay. They are living fine. They are okay. So let them live, please. Don't come and create enmity where there is none. Don't create fights where there is none. Don't create hatred where there is none. Don't create bitterness where there is none. And even if they are having issues as as they are like that, even if Abby and Israel are having issue, issues, even mother and child that is not stepchild, they have issues. And they figure it out. Stop more saying step mom and step daughter. And I even think, even if they have issues, it's not even something that is our business. They don't put it out there for us to see what they want our business, which I don't even think they have. I don't think they have issues at all. I think they are fine. Okay? Yeah. I also to come here and come out and discuss about it, okay? Yeah, so <laughs> that's just going to be all for this video. Thank you guys for staying. Thank you guys for watching. I'm going to see you in another video. In another video with this hell, don't think I'm going to come back with another type of hair. No, this week, this is what we are working with, with wig. <laughs> so I'm going to see you guys in my next video. And until then, please stay safe, stay blessed. Bye.